The number of teenagers receiving disability benefits has doubled over the last 10 years. The Resolution Foundation says 1.2 million children across England and Wales live with a disability, with more than half of them claiming government support now. The think tank said four in five children receiving the child disability living allowance had been diagnosed with a learning difficulty, a behavioural disorder or ADHD. Sky correspondent Matthew Thompson has more on this. So this doubling of children claiming disability payments is, according to the Resolution Foundation, driven by three children claiming for three main, main conditions. So behavioural disorders, that's up 562%. Uh, learning difficulties, that's up 117%. And ADHD, up 70%. And I suppose it all begs the question, well, why? Why are there so many more children claiming uh, disability benefits for these conditions? And we can answer it in, in a couple of different ways. One, policy choices made by governments. For example, take the two-child benefit cap. That creates an obvious need in the first instance and, and incentive, I suppose, for families to claim uh, child disability living allowance. Um, but that's only part, the policy picture is only part of it. And the Resolution Foundation is very clear in this report that fundamentally this rise in claims reflects uh, a, a, an increase in, in poor health and disability amongst British children. So, for example, we've seen exponential rises over the last couple of decades, really, in, in autism diagnoses. We've also seen increases in children being prescribed medication for conditions like ADHD, and we would expect that to, to filter into the, the benefit system. So it creates kind of two main policy challenges for the government. The first is a purely financial one, you know, so as long, alongside this doubling of, of claimants, the costs of child disability payments has doubled in the same time period and, and con continues to be forecast to rise at a, at a rate of something like 11% a year up until 28, 29. So there's a significant cost implication of all this. But then there's a second problem in terms of when children uh, transition from the child disability payments to the adult ones uh, that the Resolution Foundation has identified as the report's author, Louise Murphy, explains. The thing that is slightly more concerning is that there is a really sharp drop off in disability benefit receipt as children transition into adulthood at the age of 16. Um, so around a, a quarter of young people who were in receipt of child disability living allowance um, when they were a child don't go on to then receive adult disability benefits. And the fact that this happens in such a dramatic way at the age of 16 does suggest that they're, you know, the policy design isn't, isn't quite working as well as it could be. Now one answer to that problem would be potentially to increase the age at which children transition from the child to the adult payments, currently set at 16. If you increase that to 18, 19, children might be a little bit more aware of the procedures required to actually claim for the payments. A similar uh, uh, system exists in Scotland, for example, where they transition to adult payments a little bit later. But the answer to the wider question, the underlying question of this rise in child disability or disability more generally, well, that's less easily solved and yet is no less pressing, both for the health of the nation, uh, but also for the health of the nation's finances. <laughs> 